Welcome to another podcast from George Eastman House, International Museum of Photography and Film. George Eastman House is relevant today, perhaps more relevant than it has ever been. George Eastman was the Bill Gates of his day. It's an exciting place for tourists, scholars, kids, history buffs, movie lovers. And then when you're walking around, you know that the original print of Wizard of Oz is around you somewhere. You know that Martin Scorsese's films are in the air. It, it's a unique, one-of-a-kind institution. I'm part of the Eastman life, I call myself. January, I will have given my 25 years of my life to this institution. My name's Alan Buell. I am the events manager. Um, I've traveled all over the world, and, and, and I've seen fantastic art institutions and science centers and you know music centers, but Eastman House touches all of these things. It's a unique institution that branches in many different directions to make it unique. I'm Kathy Connor, and I'm the curator of the George Eastman House and the George Eastman Legacy Collection. I want people to know that George Eastman was a major historical figure, not only an inventor, a great businessman, a marketing genius, but a wonderful philanthropist. Many people are not aware of all the different gifts he's given to not only organizations here in Rochester, but throughout the world. Well, my name's Rich Angel, and I'm a film producer based in Rochester, New York. And my affiliation with the Eastman House is via the Eastman Young Professionals, where I'm on the steering committee. All I can think of is 100 years from now, a person like myself coming in, beginning their career, wanting to get into film, and walking through the doors of the Eastman House and feeling what I felt when I came in here and, and watching the movies and seeing the people and just it inspiring them to just, number one, support the house and get involved in the house, but two, to go out into the world and to make a difference and to be successful. Well, I'm Susan Robb Fogel, and I am the chair of the board of the George Eastman House. We live in a time and in a country where no museum, no matter how great its collection is, can survive just because it's a great museum. We need the support of people who appreciate the work we're doing and who enjoy partaking in the collections and the history that we are preserving. I'm Howard Bingham. It's a big honor for me to be a trustee at the George Eastman House. Here I am, a guy with no formal education in photography and just on-the-job training. And I'm the one that was asked to speak on behalf of all the millions of professional and amateur photographers around the world. What an honor, again, for me. Being a part of the Eastman House has opened my eyes to see the history of photography in new ways. The daguerreotype cameras, the nitrate films, the books in the library, it's just incredible. Uh, I'm Tony Bannon, director at George Eastman House, and um, it is a real privilege to serve the agenda of this wonderful institution. We develop the sense of connoisseurship in photography and film. We wrote the histories. Photographs and films can take us wherever we might choose to travel. And that's the reason for the support that we seek in and amongst our friends. We can't do it without support from the public. We ask the public if it won't be kind enough to help us continue the extraordinary mission that we've developed during the past 60 years. I mean, the Eastman House needs to be a supporter, number one, because of its rich tradition and the history and what that history does to young people. It inspires them. There's no other, you know, for film especially, I mean, you come here and you walk around, it's inspiring to see the work of others. Support from people like you makes access to our collections internationally easier because we can scan images, things from our collection, and make them available online, reaching more and more people with the Eastman story. So anything that you can do to help us with financial support to continue the important work we are doing is incredibly important, and I thank you in advance for anything you can do for us. The Eastman House gets my support. I hope you'll give it yours, too. We hope you've enjoyed this Eastman House podcast, and if you'd like to find out more, visit us at eastmanhouse.org.